These are the best pens you could ever possibly use when plotting points and routes for land nav. What's up guys, today we're talking land nav again and really quickly I'm going to show you how I like to set up my maps when I'm doing land nav and need to be super accurate uh, such as a go no go situation for a school or something like that. So first off, I like to, if I can, I like to get a Xerox copy of the uh, area that we're working in and I like to make multiple copies that way I can set up my map for different things for specific reasons or disseminate those down to team leaders for different portions of the mission. And it also keeps it concise and small, which I like. Second off, what I like to do too is I don't like to draw on top of the map protector. Even if you have one of those nice high speed ones, they tend to get cumbersome and they also have a lot of slippage. No matter how you set it up, I find it always has some slippage. And when you're trying to be accurate, you don't want that. So what I do is I draw right on top of the map and then what I do is I use these technical pens, these Micron disposable tech pens. You can get them on Amazon or any reputable art store. They're super great and they come in different gauges. This is a 005, their finest one they make, and it has an extremely pinpoint tip. And it'll give you a good solid line, but it's very, very narrow and very, very precise, and that's gonna be the key when you're trying to do something that's, like I said, a go or no-go situation. And then I'll use my map pens to draw on top of the protector if I'm doing things like phase lines or IVO stuff. That's gonna be um, things that aren't so crucial that they move around. So that's how I like to set up my map. That's your quick 30 second TTP of the day. I'm Sergeant Craig for 299 Scouts and remember to always improve your fighting position.